In this video, I take out the rarest tank in War Thunder, my YouTube Cup, TADU. This episode is proudly sponsored by Alienware, and all of this footage is played and recorded on the M15 R4 gaming laptop. I hope you guys enjoy. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today is another sponsored video by Alienware. Now in yesterday's video I tried to stress test the M15 R4 laptop with various different things such as the Calliope, bombing out villages and stuff with phantoms. But today we're going to play some top tier in the rarest tank in War Thunder. This is my YouTube Cup TATU. There is only one of one. This is the one that's in my possession. We won't talk about how we got this. It was a bit of a strange one. But as well as that, we are going to be taking out a plethora of Russian top tier vehicles. To get us to 10.7, I'll be taking out the K-52 and the MiG-21 SMT. That will ensure that we'll always be fighting things such as Leo 2A6s. Make it as hard as possible for ourselves. And we'll be bringing out the Tunguska and the BMP-2M just in case as well. So the reason I chose to do top tier today is that it's a lot more fast paced. It it's going to depend on your FPS, what hertz your monitor is, how quickly your inputs are on your keyboard and your mouse. So this is basically the final stress test on the laptop itself. Now the Alienware M15 R4 that I have in my possession is a 300 hertz monitor, which is extremely clear and very smooth and buttery. It's also running an Intel Core i7 processor and we've got an RTX 3070 in here as well. Now, I'll be playing and recording on this device at the exact same time. And as I explained on yesterday's video, I'll put a wee link in the description so you can go to visit that one. I'm recording at 68,000 kilobits a second, which is extremely demanding. For anyone who's a content creator, they probably don't run that. I upload videos in 4K, although I'm playing at 1080p on this particular thing. It still keeps the edges a lot more crisp and easier to see, especially when you're rendering videos in the editing software. For me, I pride myself on how good the videos look and sound, so it's really important that I do that. Now, the way I'm running my setup in particular is basically the same way I have my desktop computer. All of my peripherals are plugged in the same way as I would have on my desktop, such as my keyboard, mouse, headset, and even my microphone and my mixer. There's even a HDMI port which can extend out to an external monitor so I can monitor OBS. Now with the M15 R4's thin design, you would expect the cooling not to be really efficient, but Alienware have negated that issue by issuing a hinge forward design which brings the thermal shelf to the rear, and that can bring a number of benefits. Benefit 1, it keeps it cool and gives you better performance. It also keeps the noise down, which is important because my microphone is right above the laptop. And it keeps the device thin. Seriously, it's thinner than the width of my finger. The M15 R4 is also equipped with a solid state drive, allowing you to load in quicker than your opponents. Now, if this Alienware laptop is something that you're interested in, please click on that link in the description. I'll also put one in the pinned comments as well. And thank you again to Alienware for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. Okay, let's hop into battle and see how we get on. Right, because we're on the laptop, I totally forgot that we had Join in Progress on by default. So here we go. We're just going in straight away with the TAA. I would have helicoptered early, but uh, now we're a little bit late to the party, probably not such a great idea. Some people get their best tank taken out or whatever, they'll just hop in a Gepard or a Rack Flag Panzer or something. How big is this game? Not that big. Well, this is definitely 10-7. Here goes my breach. Who's going to park behind this house? That was a really good shot by that guy. He's using heat too. My tag is like bouncing up and down on this hill. One thing that's important about T80s is you need to be on the move all the time. I see that guy up there. I'm trying to pincer me. I think he just died at 2A5. He's dead. What is this mad lad thing here? Commander's out. I could load HE. 
better off doing that. He he is absolutely toast. Right, ears open for anything to our right. I really want to get shots on to B though. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have my uh, thermals binded. Actually, I wonder if thermals work on this laptop better than they do on my desktop. That might be a thing. There's a lot of dead things over here. They had an ATGM fire off to my right hand side, but I don't know where it's getting pinged at. Right. Something's to my left immediately. We're gonna keep going, I think. There are a lot of things to my left. Right, we're gonna go smoke here. There we go. Feeding time. He's dead. I'm coming this way. Our teammates really beating down on these guys. Nice big 2A6 there, juicy target. I think that might be friendly artillery that's coming in. Now, is that to my left? Uh, uh, yeah, it's a friendly coming in. There's enemies to our rear as well. TATB. Lots and lots left. They're all spawn choked right now by the looks of it. 24 just killed our buddy here. What was around? A oh, little big fella. There goes my barrel actually. Right, my teammates just died here, so smoky time. Yeah, I see you, buddy. Let's get this repaired up if we can. 14 seconds. That is a particularly long time. Yeah, we're getting flanked. He missed me, though. Hitting my ERA. Still alive. <laughs> Still alive, somehow. I don't know where he is. Barrels back out again. Breaches out. Still alive. <laughs> Armor to the front, always. This guy's chasing me. Now, I put this smoke out because I've got teammates behind me. They can probably see through with thermals. There we go. 24 got me. Oh my god, dude, look at the amount of points we got from getting shot at. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Eating alive. No, it's fine, though. Right, it's bomb time, I think. Let's go grab this loadout. Make sure we get our uh, our computer on as well. And our target belts. Yes, I'm gonna go for. Really? Right. Bombs are off. Please don't kill that friendly chopper. I just missed that guy. You got around behind the building. Am I getting pinged by an anti you? No. That doesn't sound friendly, is it? I hear a jet, I don't see him. Bombs out on that guy, hopefully. He's not spawn protected. No, he's not. Right, okay. STRF. Where is this jet? Where are you, dude? I got four R60s. It's not got anything in the kill feed just yet. I'll get some speed up. It's definitely an enemy jet. And we're getting toned. Find them. Right. He's gonna die. What is this? A B-57 or something? It is a B-57. There he goes. Right. Going fast again. Back over the beach. We're gonna get shredded here, but it'll be funny. Oh my goodness, yeah, hi. <laughs> that rag flag, that's a... He knew I was coming. He knew I was coming. Right, okay. War Thunder's determined to make me play this map over and over again. We're with Germany this time. It's a turn out for the books. I'm gonna try and race to the top of this hill. Yeah, the positioning is paramount. 
Let's go. Some fellow TA to you. I'm gonna get my thermals on because we're gonna need them. This pub's giving us good FPS even in the rain though. Considering I'm recording as well. Just shy of 200. I don't know if this map is more optimized than the others, but it's definitely very smooth. It's, like, it's actually throwing me off a little bit. It's really difficult to move from one piece of hardware to another. I've been playing on this laptop for a week and I'm still not really used to it. The, the screen dude gets me every time. Like, it's so fast. I need to get a new one. I need to get a new monitor now. <laughs> Thanks, Alienware, for costing me money. <laughs> Re realizing that my, my monitor is maybe a little bit outdated. Just a smidge. I don't really want to be here in a TAU. Hopefully we can make it across here. Yeah. We got a tight squeeze through here though. I mean, what have we got down here? Nothing yet. I'm really surprised. It's so quiet over here right now. Uh oh. That's a Charlie. Maybe another one there. We'll use this tiny bit of wall as a bit of assistance. Okay, is that is that a teammate that died near C or an enemy? Oh, being pushed. Oh, big man. No. Oh, I got my track and I missed him. I don't know what I hit on him actually. Right, there's I'm, I think I'm fighting too. I'm not putting actually I can't put the fire out because we've got an all loader. There's two or three here actually. That's a is that an automatic there? Hold on. They're very weak to artillery right now. To the map. What is it? This guy is reversing up this hill. That was a really bad shot. I'm gonna regret that, right? We're good. I don't even manage to hold this angle for so long. Oh, teammates. That's why. I'm gonna go forward a wee bit. I'm gonna get shot in the side in a second. I got just fired. Let's try and help this teammate out. He's alive. Did, did I get his breach? I don't think I did. He's dead now anyway. I think there's another one too. Yeah. Okay. There's several here. You got teammates with me though. That one isn't dead, is he? Oh, he's very much alive. Okay, it dragged, so at least that's an assist. This is going pretty well. Good stuff. And there's one behind him. Am I neatly tucked here or no? Probably not. Okay, here comes the pain now. Come on, smoke clear. Is that a sparkler? That was a terrible shot. I might- No! <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> Nearly. Yeah, right, we're kind of in full view of their spawn. I should have played a bit more reserved, but it was too much fun to be a bit more pushy. This is a good map for me. I quite enjoy this map. Now we've got our particles turned up to max, but our thermals should make up for it. Let's have to switch on. Get more than that. A whole 200 FPS on this map. Maybe I'll just play and record on a laptop for now. It's getting that way. The only thing I do miss is numpad, which I use for numerous things. 
We should be seeing enemies already, but I don't actually see any for now. That being said, it's very dusty, so I'm not surprised I don't see anything. I'm just going to power over onto the cap. If we die, we die. Right? That's the logic, always. It looks like there's a Mad Max sandstorm in the background when you've got all your particles turned to max. That's, that's a bush. Uh, although I, it still gave me a mild heart attack. I think I'm really the only person over here. Enemies on sea already? That'll be the new XM8 or something, I think. Yeah, we're against USA. Yeah, we're equalised tickets. That's always a good start. What are you? KPZ? Or a Leo 2K? Oh. I really want to get down heat. Oh no, this is bad. Oh, Mr. Scudder! He's putting his fire out. There's the laggiest turret known to man right there. I keep missing the gunners on the Abrams. All the time. This KPZ looks angry. Or I think it is actually a 2K. Then there's another one. That's good. We got the gunner out in him. What have we got here? Thousand. Loader engine? I think he was mid reload. I'm sitting here like an absolute nugget though. Oh no. You survived. Under gunner, fuel tank, horizontal. Another boy. Commander Gunner Horizontal. <laughs> Are we like godlike shots? That's why I like this map though. I like a I like a long range beat em up dude. I do I do enjoy this scenario. What's he doing up there? Murdering my teammates, basically. He's definitely driven down off of that now, right? Oh yeah. Um, almost got his ammo. Nothing there. There we go. He missed me. I missed him. I've got a loader though. Does he? That I expected to take his breach out, but it did not. Backing up. Right. We're in a sweet spot now. No enemies over this side. What is that fireball? A MiG 15. I hear you, turbine. <laughs> Just as they're about to fire. Team gum. We pushed up here super aggressive. It's a lot of pressure to put on the enemy team. Hold Nechi. Two fifty. That explosion did nothing to that guy. A bit too far off the top of his tank, though. Gepard and that M two four seven both died. Right, maybe loading the HE was a mistake, but we've got it at least. There's four enemies left. The rest of them, I think, are at the top of the map. Yeah, they're they're all the way out to the east side. There goes a Bradley. Type 90's pushing with me too. Bit of smoke behind us so we can't do anything. 
as we're driving away. Another ace. That was a anti here. I don't know why no one goes A on this map, especially top tier. Hello, little guy. Kaboom. The other one's dead too. Oh, I think I spotted an enemy here. What is that? 750. That's probably dead already, right? Yeah, I imagine he's gone. And that's it, I think. They're not coming back from this. There's a STRV 121 up there somewhere. He just died. And then there's this guy who's died three times. What would he be in? Another anti air, possibly? Or a light tank? Tank destroyer, something of that ilk. <laughs> this thing drifts so well. I love this TAU. It's a good boy. There we go. G6 kills, I'm happy with that. Numero uno. Once again, I'd like to thank Alienware very much for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in the M15 R4 gaming laptop, the links are in the description and in the pinned comment below. If you're someone who does a lot of traveling, maybe you're a student or you work away from home, offshore, something like that, a gaming laptop might be ideal for you rather than lugging about a big old desktop everywhere. And as I've proved in two videos now, the laptop is very, very capable of running War Thunder at very high frame rates and remaining competitive all the way up to top tier. As for myself, what I'll be using the laptop for, if my main rig goes down, I've got a perfectly good backup and I can take the laptop anywhere with me. So I can record videos no matter where I am. I've got this kind of plan maybe to go to an air museum and fly the planes at the air museum that I'm standing right next to. I think that would be a really cool thing to do. So thank you again Alienware for your support and to everyone still here. Thank you very much for watching. Much love and bye bye.